everyone it's Andrea welcome back to the channel um, just a disclaimer this is an adult channel um, where we do um, adult colouring and other hobbies such as photography and reading and um, the videos in this on this channel are um, aimed at adults and in no way shape or form made for or aimed at children there we go that's that out of the way and um, we are colouring in Fairy Tales by Emily Oberg and we're using the ink tents. We're going to do some leaves today. We've got spring green and leaf green. So I think I'll do the leaves that are actually on uh, the dress first. So how are you? Is everybody okay over there? How have we been? What have we been colouring? What have we been up to? I've been very, very busy. And of course we've had the, the bad storm come in, Storm Dennis, which uh, has caused a lot of flooding around the UK, particularly in the, the Midlands and some of South Wales, not where I am. I, we did have some flooding in, in certain places in the town, but um, I live on a hill, so the water tends to run past me. But uh, there are certain places that did get flooded, the Rugby Pitch, the St John's Ambulance Hall, among others. So, we're expecting another storm to come in on Thursday, which is supposed to be, so I've heard, worse. So that's not good. Um, but yeah, so. So, yeah, Chibi Girls Grayscale, I really enjoyed that making that video but the same person who didn't like the way I coloured in the one from da, da, uh, what one was it um, the colour in heaven book the um, what's it called I can't think what it's called to be honest it was last month the one that was Hannah Carlson's pictures, was it Dream Time? Saying how um, I was wasting my money and that it was a waste of time me doing it because I colour like a seven year old. Decided to make a comment on that one saying how amateurish the blue curtains looked and it should have had gold tassels. Which is bollocks basically. Have you ever been inside a fucking theatre? Because I tell you now love, I've probably been in more theatres and you've had hot dinners and the curtains can be any colour they that they are they don't have to be red in fact one of the theatres I spend a lot of my time in has purple curtains and purple purple seats so it can be any colour it doesn't have to be fucking red so get over yourself and stop making shit comments if you don't like the videos fucking unsubscribe and don't watch them there that's my rant hope you don't mind excuse the language I, you know I don't use a lot of swear words I'm not a person that does that very often um it's just it really annoys me because nobody should tell me how to colour. If I want to colour my curtains blue, I'll colour them blue. If I want to colour them purple with orange spots, I'll colour them purple with orange spots. Just because you don't, it's not how you would do it. Don't, you know, don't tell me how to do. And the fact that I go outside the lines and don't care, that's my prerogative, not yours if it makes you anxious. Why are you watching? You've already said you don't like the way I colour, so why keep trolling my page, you know? Just get over yourself, you ain't nothing. So that's enough of that nonsense, we're just going to carry on with colouring. So i got to be honest, it does upset me when people say that. Oh, that was too thick. Uh, things like that, and it does it does really upset me, and it got to the point where, I've missed a bit, I was seriously considering not bothering to make any more videos. And, um, and, and I have taken a few days off um, just simply because I don't need that hassle. I've got enough going on in my life. I do this as an extra. I don't get any money for this. This channel's not monetized. I've got, I haven't got enough subscribers. Chances are I may never have enough subscribers. But it's not monetized. I do it for fun and to talk to you people, because, to you guys, my subscribers, because I do like you. I appreciate every single one of you. I really do. But I'm not a professional artist. My work's never going to end up hanging in the Louvre. Come on, love, let's be honest. I can't draw to save my life, but I do enjoy colouring. 
and it, it does upset me when people have a go when to be honest if you don't like it just don't watch you know if it makes you upset and anxious that's fair enough don't watch it i personally find mukbang videos and asmr videos really irritating they really get on my nerves i know asmr is supposed to be really relaxing but it really puts me on edge so do you know what if somebody puts asmr in the title i don't watch them it's that simple because i know that they they irritate me and they really do but i wouldn't tell anybody to stop making them because i don't like them it's nothing to do with me if somebody's happy making those videos that's fine i'll just wait until the video comes along where it's not asmr and mukbang I, why would i want to watch somebody eating uh, really i get to do that every day with jennifer i don't need to watch anybody else eat so you know if you don't like it don't watch it you know and this person only comments on the videos when she's got something bad to say she never comments to say oh this one looks really good yeah this one's better i like the way you've done this oh uh, no it's always knocking and do you know what if you think you can do better love do it go on i'd like to see you you make some videos and i'll watch them and see how you do because it takes a lot to put yourself out there as those of you who make videos know so yeah as you can tell it, it really does annoy me and i know that's why they do it they do it to get on people's nerves they do it because they want a reaction and yeah they get a reaction but from now on i'm just gonna re i'm just gonna block those comments delete them you know i can't be doing with it a lot of people have said they like the way that the chibi girls grayscale came out and they were enjoying the way that the markers looked on the page so thank you very much for those of you who have given me nice comments on it i mean obviously i you know i know i go outside the lines markers are new to me they are i haven't used markers on maybe like four or five pictures but it's coloring like i said i'm not drawing for the louvre i'm coloring a picture so other than that i'm just carrying on and coloring what i want um i have got another grayscale book i've got the uh jade summer kawaii grayscale which is kawaii girls and kawaii fantasy now i already had kawaii girls because i have it i had a pdf of it but i thought oh i could uh, just about uh, have fun with the grayscale on that so that's why i got it um i did think as i've got now got the grayscale and i've got the pdf so i can print off as many copies as i want was to make a deliberately bad coloring video um using the markers just coloring all over the place just to annoy that person but i can't be asked to lower myself to their level so i got you know when you think about it i got a part-time job which takes up 22 and a half hours of my life a week which isn't a lot i've got a two-year-old that takes up pretty much the rest of the time i run an, a very small ebay business which is running in profit but i have to work on it a couple of hours each day or an hour a day so basically that eats into what little free time i have because i do it when jennifer's napping either in the afternoon or na now she's gone to bed paul's gone to bed so i've just finished measuring some items ready to put them live so i don't get a lot of free time and then i spend some of my free time making videos and i do it because i enjoy it i enjoy the coloring it does help me relax and i like making videos um for you guys to watch so you can see what books are out there what i'm coloring what supplies i'm using and i really enjoy it same as with the, the coloring group i've got a few more members now i'm really happy that we're getting a few members into andrea's attic coloring on facebook i do encourage you to join unless it's you you troll don't bother and uh feel free to post your pictures and your supplies anything you buy it's great if you are a youtuber please post links to your videos in in the coloring group so everybody can can see and we'll all go and have a look and subscribe i certainly will i like subscribing to new colorists i'm not going to guarantee i'm going to watch all your videos but i will watch the majority like i said anything with asmr in the title i don't watch because it irritates me so one of the things i've been doing is watching a lot of videos on 
records because I collect records as you know if you're a if you've uh, watched my channel previously you know I've done uh, a complete record collection video which is not now complete um, but I do have a, another channel called the vinyl vlog and I post over there sometimes I haven't for a while because at the moment I'm not buying too many records just because I've got so many to listen to and clean and as you know all my time's taken up with eBay work Jennifer and my colouring they love it that um I just haven't got time to clean and listen to the records. I did clean a few the other day, um, but I haven't listened to them yet. But I've been watching this guy, his name's Max Stevens, and his channel's called I Buy Old Records. And he's from Texas, in the States, and basically he literally buys and sells records for a living, mostly 45s and 78s. Um, and mostly stuff like um, old music, like rockabilly, rock and roll, and stuff like that. So it, it is fantastic. He has got almost a complete Sun collection. So every record they've released on either 78 or 45. And he's got them all but three now, I believe. So to me that's fascinating because I do like collections. I like seeing people's collections of stuff, whether it's records or Marilyn or costumes, books. Records, I love records, cameras. Um, so yeah, I mean, for me, a video like that is so fascinating. And it reminded me of this girl I knew in college because she was back in drama school. She was into rockabilly and she used to go to festivals like at Hemsby, Campersands, um, and such. And um, yeah, so it was while watching him, I went on Facebook to look, see if she had a profile, and she did. But her profile was um, uh, limited, so I couldn't see very much. And it didn't like, look like she'd posted for a while. So I thought, I'll just send her a friend request, and then if she ever logs on, she can add me, if, if you know, accept my friend request, if she so wishes. Well, within half an hour, she'd accepted my friend request, and we were chatting like there was no tomorrow about um, college and friends from college. And I found two other people from college from her year. She was in the year above me on Facebook and added them and we're all friends on there now so it's nice and they were and I'm not lying um three of my favorite people from college uh, they were the people I lived with in my first year uh, so to get back in touch was awesome and in fact out of all the photographs I've got from college I think there's only two that I've got framed and one is of us lot together um out on a walk so it's around so I'd have to find it it's here somewhere on i got so many pictures, it might not be on display, but it's definitely framed. Um, it will be on display once I get my listening zone sorted. But yeah, so it was nice to chat to her. Again. Because somebody in her class, um, Adam, is uh, an actor, and he is actually currently in a programme on CBBS called... Uh, Andy's Aquatic Adventures. He was also in Andy's Safari Adventures and he plays uh, Mr. Hammond, uh, the boss. And uh, yeah, he was in the year above me at college and I shared a house with him and one of the other girls for the best part of a year. Nice chap. I always get a kick out of seeing him on telly, I tell you. Oh, I, I really do. I do get a kick out of him, seeing him on TV. Oh, that's a nice cup of tea. So this one's going to take us a while to do. Um, that's if you want me to finish on on camera. It might take quite a few more. Or if you want to see me do something else, I will. But uh, the only problem I know is if I don't finish it on camera, I've missed a bit. I probably won't finish it at all because I've got another project that I started doing Ink Tense that I haven't finished and one of the reasons I wanted to do this one with Ink Tense was so I'd get that out and finish it but I just haven't even started I haven't even found that out yet the strange thing is it's in the bag next to me it's just I haven't got time maybe next time I'm if I'm only filming the one video because sometimes I film if I'm filming flip throughs I film them after I've done colouring chats so I've got one to do today which you'll see at some point, and then 
I'll uh, next time I, I probably won't have anything else next time I film one which will be later in the week maybe Thursday because I'm off Friday so it doesn't matter if I stay up late I might do a bit of it then try and finish it off so I am trying to finish my whips I, I hate having whips how people can have loads and loads of whips I think I've maybe got six and I hate having that many and there's some people with 30 or 40 whips because they start something and they don't finish it and they go back to it like I can't I can't do it if I start something I want to finish it I started doing one last night with fine liners it was one I was going to do on camera but I got so dis distressed by that troll again that I thought oh, but I just want to colour so I thought I'll just colour that tonight I don't want to do anything com well anything where I want need to think about colours. I'm just going to colour it in um, greens and blues because it's one from Lost Ocean by Johanna Basford. So I only did a little bit of it, but it's looking nice though. It's going to take a while to do that one. My next job of when I want to sit and do something a bit more complicated off camera will be one from the New Colour in Heaven book, which is actually only released today because you'll be seeing this on Wednesday. I'm filming it Tuesday night, you'll, you'll be seeing it on Wednesday, it's out today. I've had it almost a week and I haven't done anything with it other than a flip through. But that's because I was trying to finish my Hannah Lynn one. If you remember, on, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that I have finished it. I haven't posted it into my group for some reason. Oops, that one doesn't go there. That one goes there, well, I don't think it goes there either, that one goes there. Um, But yeah, I uh, I finished my Hannah Lynn and I'm really, really pleased with it. It came out really well. So yes, very pleased with that one. So and that was done with, all with Prismacolors. So. Oh, I'm sure I'll get moaned at for not doing this properly. But you know what? I'm doing it how I do it. And I'm still learning. Every day. Everything is new. I don't use these very often. So. I think it looks alright. I am quite a sensitive person so it will play on my thoughts for a while and then I'll just forget about it and then she'll probably troll on something else I'm like, hopefully eventually she'll just give up I'll just ignore her I think from now on and I do like to respond to all comments that I receive but I think anything like that I'm just going to ignore it so like I said what guys what are you colouring at the moment I've, I mean I've seen some of your pictures that you've published on the Andrea's Attic colouring group so I'm really really pleased that you're doing that it's nice to see them so thank you now somebody did say Nikki and Niagara I believe it was said that there already is a colour along called Jade in June so we will just join in with that one but if you want to uh leave your jade summer pictures on in june on my uh coloring group i will still put a video of them together um i have no idea i don't really follow the color alongs that actually go on because there's just so many of them other than i do tend to fo follow john the bibliophile colorists ones even if i don't take part in them in fact the only one i'm really taking part in is um whimsical 2020 i guess this could be florals in february because there are flowers on this page i guess and flower february every corner i think you know because there are flowers on it but yeah so sales have been okay on ebay it's just whether or not they'll all stay sold because I have not have missed another one. I have not had any returns for a while, so I'm fully, fully expecting a return shortly. Uh, where did that go? There it is. 
that's just me. I hope not, obviously. Because I don't really want returns, but they are part and parcel of doing business, to be honest. Yeah. So I'm hoping for a few more sales this month. I'm already well into profit. Um, I would like to beat last month's profit target. And if I manage to do that this week before the last week, there are some things I really want to buy. Um, for the shed and for storage. I need some more storage stuff. So it would be nice to uh, try and get a bit more of that done. So the leaf there. like this dress. I'd wear this dress if it was real and I was thin enough. So. But, yeah. so hello to all new subscribers if you've made it this far into the video. I normally do this at the beginning or I try to. I do appreciate it. We are heading towards the magical thousand. We've got, still got a way to go, we've got over 300 to go still, but we are heading towards it. Of course, if I hit a 1,000, if I want to, I can monetize my videos. So it's something I'm thinking of doing, but do you know what, I've sort of in two minds. But then you can always skip them. I always put them as skippable. Because I was, I mean, sometimes you can select which ones you want, and I tend to put the skippable ones so that people can ignore them. I'm not going to be one of those people who starts and says oh please watch the video because it supports the channel if you want to if you want to watch the ad you can I watch some ads I don't watch them all if, they, if they're film trailers or <coughs> and something like that I will watch them but when it's the same one all the time I do get a bit fed up and I skip them so for instance a lot of the ones I'm getting at the moment are for sex which, or CEX which is a, a shop in the UK called um, Computer Exchange uh, where you buy and sell electronics and secondhand um, console games and so on like for the PlayStation and the Xbox and such and such and it's like practically every advert I get is for that and I've seen them all now and I do watch them all probably at least once and I'm just fed up with them now I need to see something different and I'm more likely to watch it if they put different ads on but when it's the same one all the time I don't really want to watch the same advert for CEX every single time I watch a monetized video I like the film trailers. I do tend to watch the film trailers because I like to see what's coming out and what films are, what the films are about. So I know you can't control what uh, gets put on your ads, but uh, for me, film trailers are the best. I like watching those. Uh, I mean, I would like to make some money on my uh, channel. It would be nice if I ever get that far, but it's not something I would be relying on. Um, I've got my eBay money for my extras and I've got my main job. It's just that when, it seems weird that when Jennifer goes to school, I'm going to struggle in the holidays because my parents are too old to look after her every day. So I'll probably have to leave work when she goes to school. because of um, not having anyone to take care of her during the holidays, especially when you get to the six weeks holiday when there's six weeks off. I, I mean, I don't get, I get six weeks holiday. Do I get six weeks? Yeah. But then what about Easter and all the half terms and the Christmas holidays? I'll have no holiday for that if I use it all on um, summer. So I'm trying to build my eBay business up so that I can use that as um, so I'm really thirsty still. I've still got this cold. So, so far our dress is looking like so. It's very pretty. Um, we'll let that dry and we'll come down here and do the leaves down here, which I'll do slightly different colours. Um, I think I'll use Vivid. 
is that vivid or yeah vivid green and beach green um just because i don't want it all to be the same color just give that one a quick sharpen oh i'm tired it's hard work so we're just going to come and do these leaves down here for now this one here green grommet it's fine now that's supposed to be vivid green it looks more blue huh maybe we'll see what it looks like when I've activated it So the place where I was getting my, a lot of my stock, not all of it, for eBay, I think I mentioned was closing down for whatever reason. Um, it's not something I really understood, it was all internal politics and I was very upset because I had become quite friendly with the people who ran it. Well today um, a notice went up on the Risker pages that, they, that somebody was reopening the sale from Thursday of this week. So I'm in two minds in the sense that I really liked the people who ran it before and I don't think they were treated very well but from a business point of view that is more blue than green. I don't know, my eyes are going funny. Um, sorry, I've lost the plot now. I um, but from a point of view where I can get stuff cheap for my business, I can't not go, can I? I have to. I have to go. All right, my battery's just done. I'm going to change it. I won't be a second. There we go, new battery. Um, yeah, the strap on this camera, if you look, it's all really twisted. I'm going to need to try and untwist that at some point. And the main reason is because it's mostly on the tripod because I mostly use it for uh, colouring... Let's try field green. I quite like that, that vivid green, but I'm just going to try some different greens because I can. That battery is needing charging. Excuse me, I'll just move that out of the way. So, yes, so as of Thursday, the St John's Ambulance Jumble Sale, as they call it, is back up and running. So, oh, that's a nice colour. And go and have another look because I've got I've got to be selfish in a way because I need to find cheap stock from a business and I've got some very good stuff from there in the past so. well, I don't worry too much about it I, I don't rely on it I can get it from other places it's just that Sometimes you'll buy an item for a pound in another shop and it still won't sell for very much so your profit margins aren't as high. So when I'm getting stuff for 33p if they're still doing it as three for a pound or for 50p if they're still doing it at those prices we'll have to wait and see. Um, it gives me a better chance of maximising my profits and it can offset any lesser amounts if I have to spend a pound or two pounds on something which I'm still happy to it's still cheap I mean I've made some good sales from stuff I've bought and I'm not gonna lie it's not easy um, don't go thinking it's easy money it's not it's hard work you've got to find the item you've got to photograph it you've got to list it you've got to make sure it's all right then you've got to post it then you've got to deal with returns and most time people lie when they return things, say there's a problem with the item when there isn't, because that way they get a free return. Um, oh, that's complicated. And returns used to really, really bother me. 
again. I am quite sensitive. Now I'm just like, okay, fair enough. It's annoying, but I just it's just part of business and it's it's not a major problem. So So we've been going almost 30 minutes. So we will do a bit more soon. Do a bit more before we finish for the night. I would like to watch a few videos before I go to bed, but I am getting very tired. Checking the water still coming through because it seemed a bit dry. It is that's better. There we go. So we got some more leaves. I'm just going to go around, I think, and do the leaves here for the next few minutes. So if you want to click off, I don't blame you because leaves are pretty boring. It was pests, is there, luck? See where there's things on top of them where the leaves actually are. It takes a little bit of figuring out. So that's the stem, and then you've got a bit here. It just ends. There's a bit there. I think that's. It's hard to see whether that's part of a leaf or part of a stem. And this bit here looks like it should be part of a leaf. There's a leaf. Now looking at that, I think that's a leaf because there's a bit more there. But I'm thinking that's actually part of a stem. But it's not. No, it is. It's, it's the, there's a leaf behind this leaf. Well, that's what I'm going to do it as anyway. <laughs> so I'll probably have another cup of tea when I finish this. I've got to flip through to film, so I'll do that. I've got a ton of flip throughs to um, upload. Um, so if you see a haul uh, or um, you've watched my completed book uh, book collection and you want to see a flip through, just let me know in the comments section of uh, any of the videos, this video or any other video. I have done quite a few flip throughs and I am currently putting all my videos into various playlists on YouTube. It's a long, taking a long time. It's got over 400 videos um, and I haven't put them in playlists. So I'm just doing that now. So um, you can check the playlists as they are. It's not finished yet. I've still got another 200 videos to go. And of course I'm adding videos all the time as well. So you know, if you're not sure, just leave me a comment. And then if I've done one, I could say, oh, I've done one for this. If you just search in Andrea's Attic for it. Um, or alternatively, check the playlists as well, because some of them are already in there. But just let me know. I will happily film a flip through for any book that I haven't already done one. Even if it's a book that's been out for ages, um, if you want to see me do a flip through, just let me know. Um, let's be honest. I like to do it for new books. I have got uh, one of the new Deborah Muller ones to go up. I'm going to put up this evening, which will be now yesterday. It will be, what day are we on? It will be on, it will be uploaded on Tuesday, so you will have seen it. Um, obviously, that will also have links for the Amazon um, UK and US copies, uh, so you can go and buy it. And I'm not an affiliate. I don't have affiliate links. I think I did for at one point but I don't use them anymore I just like, 
because when I stopped filming because of having Jennifer and just not having the time um i stopped using the affiliate links so they take it off if you if, if there's any if the if you're not using it and getting clicks so i still put them on if you want to i'm not going to bother reapplying i can't be bothered with it i don't need it I, you know they're there for your convenience not for me to make money um so if you want to you can click on that link and you'll find um that book in on amazon america or amazon uk But like I said, if you want to see a flip through of any book, just let me know. I don't do the on this one. I don't even know. I don't even think I've done one for this book. So if you wanted me to do a flip through of this book, let me know and I'll happily do it. They don't take long to film. And they're nice to have as an extra one per day, every now and again on an evening. Or if there's a thing I can't film for whatever reason, I can still slip you up a video. And it's a nice record of all the books as well that I've got. Yeah. So yeah, because we're using the ink tents on this, it is going to take a while to finish it. So if you do want me to finish it on camera, let me know, please. Um, if not, it'll probably just go into my stack of whips and stay there forever. So it's up to you, I don't mind. It won't, I'll probably just sit here and do a bit every night. If you want me to finish on camera, let me know. I'm happy to do so. I just think it might take quite a few more episodes because if you look at it, we've hardly done anything yet. Although we are getting through it. I mean, I can't say we haven't done hardly anything because we've done a big expanse of it. We just got to finish off the roses on the dress and the little lace trim which we'll probably do in the next one so i don't really like to go over three parts on a, a coloring chat but sometimes you have to because the picture can be so detailed sometimes but i'm gonna finish this little leaf here and then we'll call it a day because that's pretty much 30 minutes or near enough 30 minutes Go. I just wipe that off of there, lovely. Put the top back on. I'll zoom out and we'll have a look at what we've done. So this is how it's looking so far. We have done a bit more on the dress. We've done all the leaves on the dress. We've done some of the leaves around the edge. There's a couple there I've missed. Um, there's obviously some around this edge. So um, with that, what I'll do is I'll put my pencils that I'm using back in the box, but I'll put them in upside down so that they're facing away from the, obviously normally you have them all facing the same, all points in the same direction. When I'm using a color of something, I turn it around so I know that's the color I'm using. So that's where we are with it so far. I think it's looking very nice. I hope you've enjoyed this um, colouring chat. If you have, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you want me to finish it on screen. Uh, let me know if you want me to do any flip throughs of any books, etc, etc. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not another already a subscriber. Hit the notification bell so that you'll get notified every time a new video comes out. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye.